welcome back to reassembly. Today I am showing you the second two methods of getting all of your blocks into your builds. If you'd like to see our previous method, please watch our first video where we stuck all of the non-contestant parts onto a ship which could be imported into your contestant faction. Today we'll be starting off by showing you how to get all of the parts into any faction you want into their palette so you can build with them like you would normally. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do today is turn off your Wi-Fi or set your computer into airplane mode. Once you've done this, your Steam should say no connection. Once it does, go ahead and push play and reassembly and wait for it to load up. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do today is create a new faction or save a duplicate of a previous faction and you can modify that one. So what you're going to want to do is load it up and get out of the tutorial mode. Once the wormholes have gone away, then go ahead and create a new ship. You can do this by just simply modifying an existing ship and renaming it. This ensures that all of your files load up correctly and there we go. That's all you needed to do. And then once everything has finished up here, you know that everything will be loaded in. And now go ahead and save and quit and close reassembly. All right, so now what you're gonna wanna do is open up a file explorer and go into your local disk, then go to your program x86, then go down to your Steam, then go to your user data, and then you should have some number files like this. It should be in 13006, you know, this one. And then it should be in your 329130. It may be in different number files for you, but basically what you're trying to get to is something that's remote data and then it shows up with all your factions and a few other files. So I just created a new faction in save 8. In order to make sure that this is in fact the file that I wanted, it is the correct name on the file and it is the correct faction and it does have the correct ship that is my first ship. Alright, so now that you have confirmed that it is in fact the one that you want to modify, open up this save.lua and you will notice that there is a known block IDs string and there is also a um, few other strings that you'll be modifying. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your known block IDs string and your palette IDs string as you can see here and you want to replace your known block IDs with I will drag it in this very large string of numbers. Alright, once you've replaced that, then go ahead and modify your palette IDs so that it will register in that you have put in the new blocks. And then once you have found the end of that string, go ahead and delete it. You should have a palette IDs with closed uh, and empty brackets. And what you're going to want to do is take this other string out of the description and place it into the palette IDs. Alright, so it should look like this, or at least something rather similar. And once you've done that correctly, then go ahead and save, close, and go ahead and load up reassembly again. All right, make sure you're still in offline mode. That's very important, or else you'll be pulling your saves from the Steam Cloud instead of your local saves. So go ahead and load it up and open up your new faction. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that it worked by going into one of your ships and looking at your palette. It should have already unlocked everything 
in both your faction that you're playing in and also every other faction's parts. So as you can see here, this comes from the Borg, this comes from the Crystalline, this comes from the Tinkero, we have everything now. So now that you've confirmed that everything works, that concludes our second method. Our last method for getting every part in the game into your builds is Sandbox. To get any parts you want from any faction, just type in Pallet and the faction number. There you go. So now you can see that all of the Terran parts have shown up right here in the middle of the command line. You can kind of play around with this and build ships in here in order to unlock all of the parts and get them into your builds without having to modify any files. Thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe in order to get back to the basics.